Hi, just got back from uh, Sunday board game afternoon. Uh, pretty pretty fun time overall. Nothing too uh, too huge in terms of gaming excitement or otherwise. Um, I got there, and there was one other fellow there, the the black sheep I've mentioned earlier in other other of this series of videos. Um, he didn't. I I said, "Hey, you've shaved," and he kind of just looked at me. Um, walked past him and to take off my like rain gear and all that stuff uh, because I bike to the store and it's wet here. Anyway, he uh, just kind of ignored me. Looked at looked at stuff. Um, eventually, someone else showed up and you know I told him that he was ignoring me and I thought because he didn't want to like be stuck playing a game with me alone. Uh, in the past I've I got him to play a game of Princess one on one and I think he didn't like that or I don't know. And so then I went and talked to him. He was like, Hey do you want to play a game? And he said, I'm waiting for someone else to come. <laughs> I said, Well someone else is here and I said that person's name and then he was like, Okay. And then he we went and we played Uno um which I don't own and generally not excited to play except that the the week before he was like hey i brought uno if anyone wants to play uno and so i was like yeah i do but we didn't end up getting to play and so this time i was like let's play uno and he enjoyed that he was like well you gotta be careful because if it's one-on-one -on -one, it can be pretty cutthroat or something like that and i was like well what if it's three people because there's three of us and he's like then that's fun and so Great game of Uno. Um, we played to 125 points. The person who lost uh, got exactly 125. So I believe that person won the game because that, I, I think Uno, you got to have something. Well, you don't have to have something, but I like that kind of special rule that normally low score wins, but if you happen to get the, the right score to like, you know, end the game, uh, then you win. It just kind of flips it around. Um, so that was a lot of fun. It was really not a lot of choices in the game. I, you know, it's just, uh, but I kind of set me off on a silly mode. I, I felt very silly, uh, today at game or game afternoon, which is often the case. Um, this, I, I have two, two different, uh, game stores in the area have board game afternoons uh, on the same day, actually. And this one definitely, um, I, uh, tends to promote a certain silliness. Um, after that, I think we played Carcassonne. We had a, a, it was the first of a series of votes um, for what game to play. I didn't really um, push any particular games, but it was Carcassonne was the, the winner. And what did I put up for, I think Hamlet was what I, what I almost, Hamlet actually got a vote too. Um, yeah. Yeah, and then at, at, they said, okay, we'll play Hamlet next, but during the game of Carcassonne, some other people showed up, and so we, we did a new round of votes. Carcassonne was fine. It's, you know, as far as those, like, games that are, like, point-scoring games and just about points and whatnot, I find it all right. Um, it's very kind of not much stress to the game, very calm game. Um... Not a game I would choose to play, really, but I preferred that over the um, what was going to maybe be the the choice, if not Carcassonne, which was Transamerica. I'd rather play uh, Carcassonne than that, and I'd rather play Carcassonne than Ticket to Ride Europe or many other games. So not bad. Um, then after that, we did another series of votes. Hamlet didn't even get a vote on the next one. It seemed like we should break up into two groups, too, because at that point, we were, there were seven of us, I think. Um, at the point when we played Carcassonne, there was five. That's why we chose that. And so I ended up with the group playing Innovation, um, which was not my choice, someone else's choice. Um, the rest of the group, they played um, Transamerica. Uh, Innovation was fine. I lost my temper at one point, or I kind of like... I got, uh, so I've, to I've told you in past videos, uh, there was a particular, uh, player who will just, like, argue, argue, argue rules, um, and maybe I can find the card that he was arguing about, but I just didn't have patience for it today, I don't know, I, it's not like I planned to do this, um, 
Let me take a look at my innovation cards. I use rubber bands. I know that's some people frown on that, but I really don't know of a better way to. I guess I could use bags. It is. Uh, I think it's mysticism. No, this one, city states. Yeah, I demand you transfer a top card with a tower from your board to my board if you have at least four towers on your board. If you do, draw a one. Okay, so he separated that in his mind into two sentences and thought that, you know, someone should transfer the card to him and then if he has four towers on his board, then he gets to draw one. And I just told him that wasn't the case. And I could have like ex like broken down the sentence and been like, look at the punctuation here and everything, but I was just like, didn't really feel like, I don't know, I don't know. And so for a while I just kind of like covered my eyes while he just kept going on and on about it and trying to get the other guy to see his point of view. And I was like, I don't know, I was just like, look, if you have a question about something, I don't mind that, that's fine, you totally ask your question, but if you're going to argue, I really don't want to play the game anymore. And that's really unusual for me to do that. Um, I'm not a uh, conf conflicting sort, or I'm conflicted, but I tend not to um, initiate conflicts. I try to to address them with patience, if at all possible. But that seemed to do the trick. He just stopped arguing, and, and we just kind of moved on from there. A little, it was uncomfortable for me um, to to do that, but I don't know. I don't know what else to do. Um, yeah. Uh, anyway, so that was fun. Uh, game was game went well, um, and that was the only point of drama. I feel like all of these videos have to have a point of drama, and that was the one, and it actually kind of came from me. Um, what other games did I bring? We played some other games too, and I'll get to that later. I brought Cowboys Way of the Gun, which um, that person, that individual, actually opened up after that point, and one kind of wanted to play. Um, He's probably one of the few people at that particular group who would be into that game, though. Uh, which is not to say I, I won't be able to get it played. But, um, yeah, not, it just didn't feel like the right time at the time I brought it out. There was also some interest in Pri Primordial Soup. Wolf Corbett wants me to review it. And so I've been trying to, well, I made a point of bringing it. Um, so there's, there's some interest in that game. Um, Lifeboat wasn't a Lifeboat sort of group. Um, the, the people there who like Lifeboat weren't there today. There's, um, there's a local sports team that's been playing these games, and when that happens, certain people don't go to play games themselves. They'd rather watch other people play games. Go figure. I think, you know, if I, would, if I don't like the game being played, I'd rather watch, I guess. But, um, <laughs> but then, I don't know. It's kind of a catch-22. I also brought Crusoe's Planet. Didn't get that played. So after that, after innovation, um, we played some apples to apples. It's, you know, pretty literal game of apples to apples. I, even when I was judging, I didn't find any, like, interesting connections between the adjectives and nouns. Um, which is what I enjoy about the game. So it was kind of like, yeah. A lot of, it was pretty much all the games to this afternoon were just kind of like, yeah, yeah. They weren't bad. They weren't painful. They weren't, but they weren't like super excited. In fact, Uno was probably the one I was most excited about. Uh, <laughs> we played Imagine If, which um, it's another party game. And this and Apples to Apples we played as a group kind of towards the end of the afternoon. Um, and that's a game where it's like, there'll be different cards and they'll have a blank and you take turns being who the the people playing will take turns being in the blank so like uh, one of them was if so-and-so were a Batman character which one would they be Batman Catwoman etc etc you give all these choices and everyone votes on which one they think the group would think they would be right because then if you're in the majority you get to move along the scoring track and you know it was kind of like every other game is kind of like, okay um, not a lot. I, I guess maybe I learned something about some of the people. Uh, in the... But it was, a, it was just a nice, it was kind of a social, a silly social sort of board game afternoon. Spent a lot of time singing. Um, nothing, nothing, none of the games were really like, uh, mind-blowing or, um, yeah, I don't know what else to say about that. But it was good. 